got some tweets that are quick just to start things going. So there's one here where someone has said a quarter a day for a year will get you $9,125. So obviously not sure how they worked that out. Someone has just replied a um, dollar a day is 365. You got some limited edition quarters or something. So I really don't know where they studied maths. I assume, right? Yeah. And I'll do. I'll just quickly do the math. Okay. Uh, While well, Kev's doing maths, Midnight, thank you very much for gifting 100 okay. memberships. Jeez. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. Essentially, they did 25 times 365. Ah, okay. Oh, right. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if you divide it by 100. As opposed to 0. And 0.25. times it by 4, times. you get 365. Yeah, they, they, they had some logic. The, yeah, they had <laughs> American some, math. They got some the math, math, but it wasn't, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Will, do you want to read this one? Dated this girl for four years. Paid her rent for three years. Yesterday I went to the house and caught her kissing another guy. I became angry and left. This morning she sent me the guy's number and said I should call him and tell him there's nothing between us. Oh. oh that's just bro. That is really ooh. sad. That's an extra ouch on top, did, isn't it? Did she yeah. know that they were dating for yeah, four did, years? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, did she, she know? Yeah, imagine yeah. she just thought they were flatmates. Yeah. But then, they were roommates. I mean, a, fl- a roommate doesn't just yeah. pay your rent for you, do no, they? No, that's, the, that's... Maybe she blew him a couple of times and was like... <laughs> and he was like, oh, yeah, we're dating. We, we yeah. a sugar daddy kind of thing here? Maybe. Yeah, ma- maybe she was like, oh, I gotta... No, it couldn't be a sugar daddy. There's nothing going on between them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so that one's actually... Mate, that one's really sad. That's like, if that sad. happened to me, that would not be on the internet. No, Wait, no. you just wouldn't tell anyone. I wouldn't tell anyone. No, it's very. I just be like, yeah, she cheated on me and moved on. Oh, this. So this yeah. is on Twitter as well. So like, yeah. they have a profile picture of themselves. So they they're really not trying to hide. What I won- I wonder though if this is something that you would get off of like uh, the Reddit. Oh, not someone's Reddit. maybe um, like what's, what's the other four chan or something? Where it's like a non <laughs> postings yeah. and shit. Um. Yeah. Oh, Lucas, I I don't know if you saw, but I put it in SR chat for the word file. Yeah, I've got it up. Oh, okay, cool, cool. All right, uh, Kai, show me this one. Uh, one in a strong woman is a sign of homosexuality. Any masculine man wants a submissive woman. Okay. Looks like I'm and gay for Carla. Oh, and then someone, someone replied someone to Someone replied with. You scroll down a bit. Yeah, just this bit, yeah. Well, <laughs> they've done it. It's now gay to be straight. <laughs> yeah, that one is stupid. It is very there stupid. There is nothing wrong with a dommy mommy, okay? <laughs> <No>. Exactly. <laughs> Sometimes you want to be carried to bed, all right? Um, help. <laughs> I'm being a bit. A bit. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, She's probably. The way you said that, Lucas, she is. I feel like it wasn't back. sometimes. Mm-hmm. It's that's what I want. Yeah, you back off, you little shit. Like ben, we're not here talking about me, all right? This is a tweet. <laughs> oh, joy. Oh. Okay, and then we got another one where someone has said When I was five, I found out my grandpa had a twin. When I saw him after my grandpa's funeral, a fucking heads up would have been nice. <laughs> How you, can you imagine that? Oh my oh god! No. You haven't seen your granddad in like three years, and then you walk into a supermarket and you're like, "Granddad, what the hell?" Yeah, well, that's class. You back? <laughs> it's Wait. probably one of the cases where like they probably did mention that grandpa had a brother, and the kid was just fucking dense because he's five. But yeah, maybe. <laughs> that is that, funny though. That's the part where the the um, the twin is like. We've met before. <laughs> I do not remember. Yeah. Okay, and then I put this one last because I think it might cause quite a bit of communication. Uh, yeah. Oh, you've already seen what yeah. I said about it, right? Right. So if you haven't seen, I-, I haven't actually seen the prank, but basically a YouTuber was pranking a delivery driver and in supposedly self-defense, the delivery driver just shoots the guy in the stomach. So this has now gone to court and basically the jury has... Uh, agreed with the person who did the shooting right they've said yes it was self-defense so i don't know we don't really have guns in the uk so it's a bit of a weird thing but i feel like even if it is self-defense i don't know like shooting someone still seems quite bad i I want to point out right this guy was um he 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 basically held the phone like that and was following the guy as the phone was saying why are you staring at my twinkie and, that's, and the phone just said that over and over. It just followed him and it was saying, why are you looking at my Twinkie? And then the guy, he did say, he was like, stop, stop, stop. And then he just went, bang. And that was it. Yeah, and then they were like... Shot him, shot him in the chest. Yeah, up. they were like, they were like, oh yeah. 
Uh, like everyone, like everyone on Twitter is like, yeah, totally self defense. That guy had to come in, fucking hit YouTube pranksters. Wish he had died. And no, that, that, that guy, guy had coming. Gosh. What that guy had coming was a punch in the face, not a nine millimeter to the chest. Yeah, yeah. I was, I, yeah. I was, I'm sitting there going through the cons. I'm like, am I the only sane person here who thinks it's fucking insane to shoot someone because they're if doing the an annoying guy was sound on their phone with a knife or a gun? Different story. Yeah, but having a phone at him going, "Stop looking at my Twinkie." Yeah, I think my geese is outside. I'll be back in a second. Okay, no worries. Yeah. Kind of point. Delivery drivers are robbed a lot. Yeah, no, I understand why a delivery driver would have a gun. I think that's completely acceptable. I, I just think. Yeah, but even even the context, like even if Sorry. you say it wasn't a gun, right? If it was a knife, it's still the same thing. If the the person doing the prank is in the wrong and it's a pain in the ass and they shouldn't do it. But if it's a prank that is not put in their life a threat, they shouldn't then turn around and stab I've, them, I've right? I've got comments on this, so I want to come back to that. All right, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. This, it, this one seems a bit a, outrageous. Yeah, it's, it's a... Oh, does anyone in chat know what state it was? It just... Because obviously, pers- obviously all, the, all the different states have different laws, don't they? It just seems like a very, very, very extreme reaction to it. I get being pissed off and maybe want to give him a thump. To first reaction to be pull a gun. That's. Yeah. I mean, insane. if he wants to go even a half measure, just put one in his leg. Then it's just it's just assault with a deadly weapon, not murder. It, it would have been yeah. totally acceptable to pull out the gun, point it at him, and go back off now while I shoot. You know what I mean? We didn't. So like bang. Yeah. And then and then everyone like Americans are just going, "Fuck yeah, he should have fucking died. Hell yeah, kill him, brother." America. America. That's insane. Absolutely crazy. Oh, yeah. If the prank was like the other person had, like I don't know, a fake gun or something, and they're yeah, yeah, they're you know making the other person feel threatened, then I'd understand. Nino, you know, the the guy's making more prank videos because he had an increase in views for being shot. Yeah, I mean that's how it always works, right? It's the same with the I can't remember his name, but the one in the UK that was doing bad stuff and they even got arrested. But all them getting arrested and that just gave them more followers and more views. In fairness, Dragon Hunter, he said that is most likely the vocal minority, which happens a lot in the US. Twitter, I mean, like, you know what? You know, what you see like an informational post on Twitter and you're like, oh, I actually want to see how people would respond to this. Sorry. And it's just fucking memes. Yeah. So it's, oh, it's meme pages trying to promote themselves, girls trying to promote their only fans. Then you get a bit further and you get all the unhinged blue tick reply people. Then you find the unverified people who are like, that's crazy. But that's just <coughs> Twitter, the way it's changed, right? It's yeah. an echo chamber. It's awful. Yeah. It, Twitter's really, really bad now. It's shocking for it at the moment. Like, okay. Especially with the amount that it promotes as well. A lot of, a lot of dangerous bullshit as well. And yeah. how much fucking stupidity that people are fucking spouting as well. It's awful. Yeah. Did you have... Well, what were your oh, comments yeah. on this? Um, my, my comments on this guy was that... Uh, I fucking hate guns. First of all, I know like, you're I, I, I you had to percent don't you had agree a big with the argument on Twitter with yeah. gun lovers, didn't they? Oh, mate, I had so many death threats. That was hilarious. <laughs> I didn't know um, that. Do you not, have you not heard no, about that? I oh, I said, that. I, I basically had quoted a, a, a comedian who had said that if you think um, you can stop America from taking the guns off you, you clearly don't re- uh, remember the fact that they've got tanks and drones. Um, but anyway, the point being is, is that I, I kind of understand why the guy would feel intimidated by it, though. Not, not yeah. from personal experience, but as a tall guy, like, and I, I, I've got to be quite wary uh, about how that I present myself with other people, especially because I work with kids. Yeah. Right? I can, I can seem quite intimidating to people without even meaning it. I'm a, I'm, I'm a fucking tall guy with a massive. And then beard. you speak, and all illusions are dispelled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to. But it, it's, it's those sort of things which I'm going. Okay, that the dude in the video that you sent earlier, he, he's, he's, he's not the tallest of dudes. No, at all. So I can understand why he'd feel intimidated, but but the escalation, nah, nah, man. That was like watching a U.S. cop show. It's awful. And then uh, someone in the comments said, "Yeah, he was uh, he was convicted of charge. Uh, he was charged with firing a deadly weapon in a crowded building, right? Yeah. And it's like it, that. That's how weird the American court system is. It's like if he's guilty of that, why was he?" not guilty of it's what i said as well is that if they if if if, if they declare that it is in self-defense then you wouldn't the, get the, the onus then goes on to the um uh not the defendant what's the other guy the, 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 the offender people, the, yeah onto no 
the perpetrator yeah whoever's trying to like convict them to okay. like say it wasn't in self-defense whereas here the, the 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 defendant has to say from the start it was self-defense otherwise anyone can be like oh yeah we, well, we're introducing this into our story now you know it's the onus is on you to prove here that it was in self-defense yeah no it's just really weird because right yeah. if you get charged for if you don't get charged for Let's let's say that it is self defense, right? Yeah. Then you can't charge somebody for firing a shot, a deadly weapon. Yeah. In a public place because it was self defense. Yeah. So it doesn't make sense that they gave one and didn't the other. Yeah. I have a I have a question. Yeah. Go on. Um, the distance between the two of them from when they shot, how big was it? Oh, it's close. It's pretty it, close. It was barely. It, it was like it's about that point blank. Point yeah. blank. Yeah. And were they was it put a point blank the whole time throughout the sort of prank? Yeah, he was just Most, following pretty yeah, closely, yeah. holding a phone in the ear, saying, why are you looking at my Twinkie? Yeah. All right. Bit annoying. Very Would, annoying. Wouldn't shoot a guy over it. Yeah, no. I don't think he deserved to die. No, not at all. Did mm. he die? No, he didn't die, but, you know, getting shot it's typically can cause... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Being shot can cause die, you know? Yeah, you put a bullet in yeah, someone, fair. you have to... <laughs> I'm allergic to these bullets, like, yeah. I you get... put a bullet in someone, you have to accept no, the no. risk that they well, might Well, die, the trick right? is, if you're allergic to bullets, you have to... You know, to get shot with a smaller caliber and work your way up, so you build up the immunity to bullets. Oh, I yeah, see. Yeah, you start yeah, with yeah. paintballs, then BBs, uh, then you, maybe wait, you could take you a nine millimeter. Why'd you go paintball to BBs? Paintballs are fucking that size. BBs yeah, they're bigger, but I'm pretty sure BB does more damage. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Depends on the it BB. Depends, it depends on, on the BB depends gun. On the gun <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'd if be, I shoot a paintball out of a rifle and then shoot a, a BB out of a rifle, I'm pretty sure the BB is gonna like break your skin. Yeah, but like a BB, yeah, leave you a little, little, little bruise. But like a BB out of a BBs pistol, BBs do hurt more than paintballs. Yeah, it's just hits you a lot, yeah. lot, lot more. Just fortify, isn't it? It's easy. Paintball guns do hurt. I'm not gonna lie, and yeah, they cause some massive bruises. Can actually split the skin, but a BB can proper fuck you up. Because the paint's supposed to pop. Yeah. Whereas a BB is gonna stay hard. Yeah, ish. There's um, it, it it amazes me like the the realism of some of the BB guns that you can get though. Some guy tried to sell me like a Browning automatic rifle, uh, like one of the World War Two weapon look yeah. like replicas, which is a BB gun. I'm going, no, because I'd end up being shot by the fucking police for this. It'll be awful. You you shot by the police? Yeah, you might get shot by a taser. Yeah. <laughs> No, but still, like someone running around with uh, with an assault, uh, like uh, something which is basically classed as a, a light machine gun. Yeah, and uh, you're definitely gonna have armed police go there. You are asking. I would be sure. Yeah. I'd shit my pants and be like, "No, nope, it's fake. Throw it away." No, nope. it's why you've got to have them have vibrant colors and like orange tips. I think some, it's, some it's like orange or uh, without a certain license, they need to be orange and blue, like fluorescent. Yeah, yeah. So if you've That's got a like, the... license, going airsoft, and you can have like photorealistic yeah. weaponry. The toy guns as a kidney. That's why they always got the orange yeah. tips on them. I think that you you need to like alert to the local police or like new something. business real guns with orange paint on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a, I swear it's a BB. Boom. Uh oh, wrong gun. <laughs> I wouldn't. Even, I'm in trouble. I wouldn't even trust like you know if you had like a replica gun that shot BBs. Yeah. I would. Nah, I, I'd still be like. What if there's a real bullet in there? You know what I mean? Yeah. But nah. but that's because you have something called common sense. <laughs> and many people don't. Hence why there's a big fucking thing I'm, where someone shot someone. I now. mean, even like blanks are dangerous. Yep. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, all, it's all bad. Yeah. That's why if you're ever holding a gun, you check the breech is clear. You make sure the magazine's unloaded. I but worry if it's about... BBs, if, if, what me yeah I, I, like i feel like we're getting into a bit of backstory with you now lucas <laughs> <laughs> you like some sort of secret assassin. and your advice to my make-believe lawyer i'm not allowed to continue the story please oh, carry okay. on <laughs> all right well because of that we'll move on to the next topic Sam, right don't pull an alec baldwin <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh. right so these are right. basically secrets that people have posted on reddit where they're saying if they got out and people around them knew it essentially ruin their life right so they posted it on Why the internet it yes <laughs> yeah but I guess anonymously with, yeah exactly okay um okay right i'll i'll read the first one then so two and a half years ago i was in dire financial uh, straits. worries i straits. straits so i sold my house to keep my struggling business afloat i neglected to tell the owners that they have an 800 square foot bunker on the property that i built seven years ago the bunker that I've called home since, um, I've sold it. The entrance is is hell, is well hidden, uh, but I still 
go come and go basically early in the morning and late at night. I'm a single man who keeps to himself. I'm now in a situation where I could move somewhere else, but I love this hidden paradise so much. Oh my God. That's, that's so weird. Just essentially that's lived so on weird. their property that, for almost yeah. three years. Like imagine, imagine like you're letting your dogs out at night, right? And you just catch a glimpse of a guy emerging from like a, <laughs> from fake, <the> garden. <laughs> from like a fake mud flap. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, that's fucking weird. That guy's a literal basement dweller. Yeah. That, <laughs> that guy is fucked in the head. Go like move house. Especially the fact they have said, I can afford, like I can get another house, but I love this life. Unless he's got like a generator, he's siphoning the electricity. Yep. Yeah. Or, and if, and if, he, if he does have a generator, they'll probably hear it. Yeah. Maybe he's just taking their electric and they, they don't realize. Well, like he's connected up with like a caravan sort of like type yeah. electric it, block. Well, 800 square foot is He's got, he's got an extension cord decent. out of the bushes into the window. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the house I grew up in is 800 square foot. It's a, it's a decent size to live in. Jesus Christ. So hey, at least he doesn't have to pay taxes. Well, it's not that he... <laughs> not yet. <laughs> it's that the family who moved in pay the taxes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Smart. Plus, we don't really have property taxes. Oh no, it probably it doesn't say where it is. It could be America, couldn't it? But um, no, it's an honest, mate. if it's a bunker, it's probably America. <laughs> but um, how big is eight hundred square foot though? Like, cause, like feet. I don't get that unless it's like with height. I think eight hundred square foot is bigger than my house. So it's my house that I grew up in is about okay. square foot. Is it like we don't, have, we don't have a point of reference for that. I know. Yeah. Uh, is, it, is, three, is it like a typical three, terraced house or something? Is it? Or? Old, yeah, three bedroom okay. house, right? Where the two bedrooms are like double bed, but the other bedroom is single bed. Yeah, okay, That sort yeah. of size with one toilet, which is basically toilet and a bath next to each other. It's not like, it's not that big, the but for one weird. person, it's plenty of space. <laughs> okay. All right. I think I kind of get it. But uh, there's a... Ah, uh, there's a film. I'm sure it's a Korean film I watched, and I can't remember the name of it. But that's what the film is about. Where there's an entire family who live in this rich person's house. Okay, yeah. Um, oh, that's gonna annoy me. What that's called, though. Basically, one of them gets a job tutoring okay. with this rich family. Yeah, and then they realize oh, that they the, can like uh, the, pa- the uh, parasite. That's the one. Oh, easy. yeah, I've... yeah. yeah, yeah. I've... I've seen bits of it. I've not seen all of it, but yeah, it sounds like Parasite. Yeah, it's quite good, but it's it's like similar kind of thing where they're just living off this rich family in the walls of the house, essentially. Oh, okay. Um, Okay. I I think my yeah, my house is bigger than eight hundred square foot. Yeah, yours yours definitely is. Okay, but um, yeah, I don't know. That that's that's quite an interesting life to live. Like I don't, I don't. You think at some point you have conversations of where you stay, but I guess you just make it up. Just um, wandering around through the. Can anyone see the? You grab a control over there, Stan. You just click the middle button. Oh shoot! Yeah, wait, no, not the off button, no. Yeah, t- oh, so yeah, when it says press any button, it doesn't mean push the power button. <laughs> no, so it turns it off. <laughs> it's a lie. It, it says like... push any button. You're like, yeah, power button. Well, that's why because oh, it's like, oh, it's turning off. So he was all technically all correct. Give or take the same size. As I, the f- I felt like it was a smart okay. idea, but it was wrong. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess it, it'd probably be exciting for the first month or so. But then surely yeah. at a point you've got to be like, I'm, it, I'm being weird. It at might one be point like, you go, I'm not paying property tax. I'm not paying a mortgage. <laughs> I think I might do, stay. Do, yeah. you reckon, do you reckon though that he does it because there's like, you've got those people who do certain things because it's like not, it's one of those things which it feels bad. So they get a massive like kick out of it as opposed to uh, like, that's what I mean. Uh, initially, like I think yeah. would, stuff. But surely after yeah. two and a half years, that's died down. I, mm. I would like, I don't know. I would think it would. It would for me, like, but... He probably likes how cheap it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then. Um, we'll move on to the next one. Costy so, lives, mate. Kaif, do you want to read this one? All right. I once, helped out my fe- uh, I once helped out my female friend's family by taking care of their cat for a week. Every day for a week, I would go over there and snoop around their house. I found my friend's diary and proceeded to read the entire thing. I used this information to get her to like me, and she is currently my wife. Oh, <laughs> no. That's super clever and super messed up. At the same yep. time. You definitely oh, can't no. tell your wife that. Nope. That, she that feels so. Feel how betrayed would she feel if she finds out that information? Very. Oh my god, that's. <laughs> that makes me feel Smart, so horrific. Yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> what was she writing in that diary then? And she's like, right, here's how you, uh, here's how diary. you woo me. Mood apathetic. Well, no, I guess it's just more like 
what she didn't like, what she needed comforted on. Mm. So they maybe like probe question, like you know, all right, this is currently, I don't know, an issue in her life or whatever. And then yeah. you probe questions to get that conversation to start. To be fair, the, the attraction must have been there, right? Because let's let's say like he he did all the right things that she needed, like comfort during certain times. Yeah, he could have definitely ended up the best friend. Yeah. So you know. He probably did need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was in already. I don't know. How would you how would you react if the person you're with is like, oh yeah, I mean I don't have a diary, so it's hard for me to say, but <laughs> I don't know, say they got access to like, I don't know, all your DMs. Yeah. Like pure access to your phone. And they read your browser history. Yeah, your browsing <laughs> history, your WhatsApp conversations. And I don't know, they use that to like woo you. Yeah, and I'd be like, you still want me? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of time and respect for you. I admire the effort, Karen. Do you know how much Roxanne's in my history? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm joking, yeah, Ebs. I'm joking, Ebs. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, Ebs. She's coming to beat you up. She's coming to beat me up. Yeah, it would definitely be uh, some sort of betray. Anything on that one, Stan, or...? Uh, I mean, it's a bit weird, isn't it? it yeah, but 100%. I do kind of agree with that. There probably was some sort of semblance of attraction to begin with. Like, otherwise, it may have just came off as far too creepy, and it wouldn't have gone further than that. I think. Yeah, I don't know. The, the, you still have to rizzo. There had, to, yeah, there had to be something there. I feel. I saw. Yeah, saying. basically, there's many people who could have got access to that diary and would have failed. Oh yeah. So, it's. But it's still creepy though. I mean, you, 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 you're already in a position when you're cat sitting for your friend. I feel like you, you know, you're trusted. You broke that trust by reading the diary. Yeah, but it's well, just a sticky. Situation. I don't know. Like if you ask me to cat sit and then I'm like on your computer going through your Discord, like that's not I'd okay. Be a bit is upset. It? Yeah, exactly. Well, that's yeah. One you yeah. Leave your computer logged in. True. Yeah, you think maybe you'd have the diary like locked away or it something, didn't. but yeah. I mean, how many people go in your room, really? Do they? No. True. Mm. This Starbucks didn't come in. It's I thought it's. The... I, I looked at the Starbucks. It says closed. Yeah, <laughs> they do it oh, all the no. time. Um, Sad fuckers. What am I here for? Remy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do they say? Go they on. just they just cancelled the order. No, I, it still says Ryder's head, but uh. Yeah, they did. I uh, I had that once, and uh, I waited two hours. Didn't, did, did it come? Ah, no, it didn't. Oh, okay. Didn't come. <laughs> um, okay. Lucas, do you want to read the one which starts with, I took a shit? <laughs> it's the next one. That, that was it. That, that... Well, I took a shit. The end. <laughs> well done. I'm proud of you. Thank you. The training's going better. <laughs> I once took a shit in the, in the bathtub and I'm realizing what a horrible mistake I had made. First of all, how do you shit in a bathtub and not realize you're shitting in a bathtub <laughs> sneaky know. fart i guess have you, have you not been like, that pissed before no oh, but like, the, way like it's, the way it's bath. written sounds like they they did decide to shit in the bathtub yeah and oh, then they've right. gone oh why did i do that Wait a like minute. oh let's shit into the bathtub that'd be funny yeah okay what happened next yeah i flung the poo into a hole in the wall my parents oh. renovated and patched up the hole there is now a 15 year old turd in between my bath oh, in between no. the bathroom and kitchen wall of my childhood home how do you not smell Right, but that? there's a hole in the floor that they could have thrown it in. Why would you just throw it in the, the toilet? toilet? Yeah, that's what I mean. Why would you just throw it in the toilet? Why would you throw it into... There's all a... sorts of weird things going on yeah. here. There's a lot there, to unpack. There are some... Wait, hang on. Does it... I mean, I wasn't... They, they made the logical leap to have a shit in the toilet. I don't think they... Not in the bath. Yeah. They're, they're, they're going to miss the idea of putting it in the loo. You you do have some houses, though. It depends on how old the house is, where the, there's not a, a toilet in with the bathroom. True. Because Kez's parents have moved into a house which is like that, so that's literally the only thing. But even still, you wouldn't want to like try and like get, it get the, the old poo knife that's... out and try and shove it down the drain or something. Yeah, potato masher. Down. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> I beg your shits if it's well, you potato masher. It was monstrous. Oh no! What was it? Just a Good hole in the wall snake. that like they were renovating. They made renovation or whatever. Yeah. It's just like, huh? There's many other places I could put this turd. <laughs> oh, hole in the wall. <laughs> I mean, the main thing is, why did you shit in the bathtub in the first place, isn't it? But no, that's what I'm hung up on. Yeah. I'm the weird, it doesn't even say, right? It doesn't say, were they taking a bath and then they shit? Or did they just, <laughs> the bath's empty and they're yeah. like, no, hey, why not? I was going to say, if you're in the bath and you 
wrongly trust a fart, that's a different story. But yeah, I just yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I had a shit in the bath. Went, oh, why did it's, I do it's that? It's just questions science can't answer. I, no. I, I initially <laughs> thought they just did it in an empty bath. And then <laughs> and then you brought up the fact that it could be having a bath. And I was like, okay, I guess. Maybe they just wanted and, to see and, what it was and like. Now I'm, I don't know. I don't have a brown rubber ducky. What's and, this? And now I'm back around to thinking they just did it, it in sinking? an empty bath. Yeah. Someone just said, I feel like is a drunk thing to do. That would add a lot more sense to it. But, but like, I mean, actually, I, feel like I can. I feel like I, you I, I per, it. not personally, but I can corroborate what Glenn's saying. One of my friends got so drunk that he thought, for some reason, he thought the oven was the the toilet. So I he pulled the, the door. Oh, he, no. Yeah, he pulled the door down and crapped on the inside of the door and passed out in the kitchen. <laughs> oh my <laughs> lord! Who like did his, someone else? His find girlfriend it was before his him? girlfriend found it. <sighs> what? She, how'd she well, react? Um, I think the words he were said was not happy. That's yeah. fair. Because how much have you got to scrub that oven to want to use it again? A lot. <laughs> I, I think next time you turn on the, the oven and, and you just get the stink you get, of yeah, you get a shit. Of shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is grim. So that grim. is very. Uh, yeah, that is very grim. I think that's. I don't know. That's worse than the wall one, I think. Oh, that's a that's a good point. They said fifteen year in in childhood home. He was probably a kid. Probably. So he probably wasn't True. drunk. Probably explains why they did it because they were kids. They're like, they're stupid. I don't know, in the yeah. 80s or something, and they still live. Still live with mom, like yeah. I think, I think as a kid is acceptable because like it's what the shit sure. in the tub. Yeah, no, not not. It depends on the age. <laughs> yeah. Now, little Billy, I know you're fourteen and everything. It's <laughs> not right to shit in the tub. <laughs> No, but you know what I mean? Like when you're like ex like very young, you know, like four, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it could be regressing different. or yeah, something, yeah. if that's where he's going. I, I get what you mean. I, I threw a tantrum and pissed in the corner once, but <laughs> I was like three. So yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, I, uh, that's I wish you told us you were like 14. <laughs> no. Why do I feel like this is going to be taken out of context completely, though? Actually, last time we talked about shit, Stan, you told us an amazing story. I don't want to story. talk about it anymore. Okay, that story if they, if want to know that, Do you have can... any more? No. Well, talking about shit stories. Yeah. Oh, come on. You've got to have a good poop story. I might. I don't know if you can top the that, last that, one. That, that, that's a yes. Yeah. Come on. The fact that, the uh, fact I don't, that I don't have a There's no this. judgment here, Stan. Uh, I, I learned that, um, like, I mean, it's not my shit, right? But I learned that... Uh, I was disappointed. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know about your shit, Stan. I learned that dogs can be pretty gross. Oh, I need Especially it. with their kids. Oh. I watched uh, a yeah. newborn puppy uh, poo, and then I watched the mother come and just eat it. <laughs> oh, no. That's a protection thing, though. Yeah. No. It's pretty, fucking pretty weird. It's pretty gross, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That yeah. is grim. I'd, so I, I feel like I have one more, but I have to think about it. All right. We'll, okay. Okay. We might. We'll we come might back circle to that. back we'll, to. Uh, uh, we'll put a pin yeah. in that one, and we'll come back to Stan. Can someone stories. remind us before we leave that Stan needs to like come up with another poop story? Hey, if, I'm uh, smooth brain. I'll forget. I'll rem <laughs> we'll, we'll remind. you. Me and Chat will remind you, buddy. I'm just gonna just gonna be disappointed, but all right. Um, will, do you want to read the next one? Uh, cousin. Cousin died when we were both seventeen. There was a reception at his house just after the funeral. I went into his room and stole all the money that was there, took some other valuables that his parents wouldn't realize were gone. No one knows that I did it. They just assumed he didn't have any money in his room, only loose change. I don't regret it, but I will never <laughs> admit I did it. Jesus. I think that's significantly what? worse than that diary. That's a yeah. horrible person. Yeah. I mean, they don't need it anymore. They don't need it, but it's still <laughs> fucked, isn't it? But you don't yeah. do that. No, it's so like, messed up. It's really messed we up. We could be missing context, and the cousin could have just been an asshole to this guy. He's like, well, fuck, you're dead. Fuck you, I'm having your stuff. Maybe. But even then, again, though, it's not like it's not justification to take it, is it? It's like, it's not... No, I'm, I'm not I, saying it's yeah. justification. There's not, these stories miss a lot of context. Yeah, they, always, you, they I, always do. What I want to know. Talking about thought, pooping yeah. in the bath. What I want to know, though, is it, like when was the time frame from this? Because was this recent? Because any valuables could even just mean like the fucking Rob uh, Robux cards that you can get in like <laughs> Tesco and shit. Oh, My parents like, oh, I wonder what ever happened to that PS Five. <laughs> Stop a really square jump and like. a forty-eight inch flat screen TV. Speaking of, what about his collection of vintage flashlights? Vintage, vintage flashlights. Why is this like a fucking Grim. clog or something from Holland? Refurbished <laughs> flashlights. <laughs> Once used. Grim. Oh. 
Yeah, I just can't imagine. Oh, there wasn't there. There was one where uh, someone passed away in hospital, and a nurse got caught using their debit card. Wow. Yeah. And that wasn't that long ago. That's quite. Wow. That's quite bad as well. That's another case of yeah, using it. <laughs> yeah. But um, there was. I'm gutted. I couldn't find it. I, I read a Am I an asshole one like earlier in the week, mm-hmm. right? And there was definitely context missing and it was a mother talking about a daughter and the daughter would replied. The daughter was like the top comment. And I was like, this is going to be so good to discuss. And I couldn't find it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't think there's really anything else to say on that one. Right. They just, they're just bad. You're like, just you're just, yeah, thing yeah, to do, it's, just, like... it's just so shit. Like you got family grieving and, the, and you're like, oh, I'll take this shit. Um, <laughs> That's because he's sad. I'm going on the roll. <laughs> you want to read the next one? Because I don't want to read it. No, I ain't reading that. <laughs> Lucas, do you want to read this one? Yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. I've masturbated to my mum numerous times and feel absolutely <laughs> disgusted by it. I was surfing the internet and found a porno. Come to find out the woman looked, looked, looked a lot like my mum. And I masturbated anyway. I can't even count the amount of times I masturbated to that video, imagining it is my mum. I don't want to even talk about it to anyone because I, don't, I think it's one of the most disgusting things you can do. It's probably been a month, about a month since I last did it, but I need help. Edit. And no, I, don't, I wouldn't have sex with my mother. I'm just in this trap and I seem to be, I can't seem to completely break. I don't want to tell anyone about it, but I'll post it online. I don't. <laughs> so messed up. What do we even say? But like the fact that they've gone, I got nothing, mate. I don't know what lo- you're looking at me. No, 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 it's just the fact <laughs> that they went. It looked like my mum, and then later on they've gone. I imagined it was my mum. Like, oh, I came out of there. I want to go back in. <laughs> 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 it's so, like that's definitely what I know. Like, obviously, they read it username probably can't be linked back to them. But you, yeah. ne- you never, you don't tell anyone, you don't type it out. No. You certainly don't post it online. That's something you take to the grave. Clearly, he accepts yeah. about at least enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's very Oedipus, isn't it? No? Okay. It's very what, sorry? Oedipus. What's that? The guy who wants to fuck his mother and kill well, He said he doesn't want oh. to. He just likes knocking one out to videos yeah. of someone looking like her. I mean, he's one wank still... away from it, mate. Let's face it. Yeah. To, yeah. <sighs> well, then. Moving on. Okay, okay. <laughs> Moving on. Yes. Any, anything else, Dan? You want to add? We are about half an hour through. Yeah. I'm wondering how you're going to top this. Okay, the next one's pretty spicy. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you want to read this one? Sure. Man's living the dream. I spent a year stretching and exercising so I could suck my own dick. It sucked, pun intended. It feels way more like sucking a dick than getting sucked off. Then there was the whole skill level issue of how willing I am to learn how to get really good at giving head for this. On top of that, you have to do something with the jizz. And let me tell you, there is no right answer. I did it twice just to make sure I didn't like it and never did it again. I mean, at least, at least he made sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 you, go, know. Right? you got a comp with yeah. the go for that. That's a lot um, of effort. He saw it through to the end twice. Yeah. Oh, my favorite part of that is it felt more like sucking a dick than getting sucked off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, would you do it if you could? I guess I'll give it a go. I'll give it. I'll give it a go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wouldn't say I'll do it again, but I, you know, I'll, you know, give it the old college try. Try everything. I once, know. What, isn't it? I know yeah, what I like. <laughs> Suck your own dick. Shit in a bath. Fucking. Who knows? I, I feel like if every single person could then it'd probably be something that is commonly talked about, I'd imagine. Probably. It's like if you couldn't use your hand, but then there was like one person who managed to do some stretching and they could. It there'd might seem a, weird in that context. There'd be arguments on the internet where people were like, mouth or hand. You know? Yeah. It's yes. definitely weird. Though. But it, it, remember the in school, there was the rumor that Marilyn Manson had oh, like yeah. surgery to remove his ribs. Yeah. So he could he could do that like... I don't know where that bloody rumor come from, but oh, fuck it, knows. it was like everyone knew, and that was kind of like pre pre internet as well. Mm. It, yeah. So yeah, like, I don't know I, where it comes from. We had that exact um, same rumor, and we I was about like an hour and a half I away got from you. Right back, a couple of minutes. Carry on. I'll be back. All right. All right, no worries. I think we had a rumor like that, which is weird as well. 
Yeah. They went quite far. Over. Matt said, there are two types of men in the world. Guys who will try to suck their dick and those who are lying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, even if people dick. try, you definitely... Come on, as a teenager. Wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't admit it, you know. I couldn't do it, so... I, I haven't got the That was the end of that. Either. And then I went to uni and started putting on weight, so... Now we know it's over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's lost the weight. Uh, yeah, yeah. Your dick. <laughs> I'm going to lose that weight and I'll be like, it's time. You're back on the uh, fitness program to fit that dick in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah, brother. Um, Couch the cock. Couch the <laughs> That's actually a good name for it. Stan, do you know your story while Lucas comes back? Yeah. Movies? Yeah. No. Ah, oh, sad. Times. You got no, sh- no more shit stories. No, I really don't. I don't think I do. None that mm. I want to share. Oh, that's fair. Oh, come on. No, if, I, if you, no, no. no <laughs> if you don't want to share, they've got to be good. All I'll say is I just have, I, I've had a very bad string of, 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 of bad stomachs. <laughs> Have you done a See, rob and shit yourself on stream? Not on stream. Oh, okay. Not uh, on is this stream. like since you've moved? Um, no. Oh, okay. Oh, in no. the past. When so I was you're not poisoning younger. yourself? No. Well, I've had two or three times where I've eaten bad. I've been, which is not too bad. Wait, you two, since you've moved, you've po- like essentially well, poisoned I, I, yourself two or three times? Well, I don't know if poison's a big word for it. Okay. Maybe more of just ate poorly. And it fucked you up? Uh, it took me out for you know, from feeling like I could come here because I didn't want to risk missing the toilet. <laughs> and that's happened two or three times since you come here. Yeah. How long have you lived here now? Not even a year. Five, six. All right, I'm back. Did I that's... miss Stan's pooping story? Uh, yeah, no, it was, it was but... really good, mate, actually. <laughs> no, You've I given can't... yourself you like out. light food poisoning two to three times. Yeah, I'm, I've learned. I've not had it in the last while, though. <laughs> the last two weeks. The I've last two <laughs> I've gotten better. I got better. Yeah. What have you been That's eating insane. to yourself food poisoning? Well, it's been an experience. I don't think I've given myself food poison in well over a decade. Well, look, all right, it's just a skill. Maybe death, even two decades. All. When I was eleven, I think I did recently, which is ironic considering I'm pushing fucking cooking videos. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> to be there. fair, that, that that breakfast you did me, what well, yours will, that was banging. I felt fine after that. Yeah, it's just Evans, when was the last time like we ate food and it didn't go well? Never. Never? I don't recall ever eating food with you and then coming back to it at the same time. You guys like I, 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 two to three times since you've moved. It's just a skill diff. I don't know what you want. Skill diff. Just get good, Kate. Come on, man. What? No, what? I so, can. do you know? Do you know what foods did it? Like, what were you cooking? No, um, one was definitely bad bread. What do you mean bad bread? You cooked your own bread or uh, you just... I did bad bread. What do you mean you did, How did bad you... bread? Yeah. I let the, left the bread too long. Oh, okay. You so get moldy. You, you, so it you got moldy. moldy you ate mo- I didn't realize it was moldy. Okay. The rest of the loaf was moldy. Well, not the rest, but a good chunk of it. You, know, mo- you can't see mold for the most part until you can. And that's far too late. <laughs> yeah, green. so... So you, say, just, you saw a mold and just carried on. Oh, well, in for a penny, in for a pound, carried on eating. So basically, if you can see a little bit of mold on the bread, yeah. oh, okay. apparently the entire bread is yeah, molded. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. Just still need it. I didn't know that because it was at the very back. I couldn't see it. I mean, with stuff like Wait, bread, even you if you don't want to see, you can just use go um, by the dates, It lasts right? a bit longer sometimes. But I also have, because very back is because of the packet. Stan, oh, okay. I keep my bread in the fridge. Yeah, I keep my bread in the fridge. Fucking hell, how long was it in the fridge? A bit too long. <laughs> <laughs> why do you just use the dates what he date? was using the fridge so it would have lasted longer yeah. ah, okay yeah. my mum used to freeze bread, bread. no yeah, i yeah. i, I oh, freeze bread and the other well. one the other one was vegan ham yeah i yeah he made himself sick from vegan ham I, how it's not yeah. even meat i don't know it didn't go over well yeah but right. a lot of a lot of that the vegan stuff is just filled with oils and shit in it so it I'll might be, just be like i'll be honest i don't have body the best I, i've had a very long history of, of bad stomachs okay what was the other one um, that's why I said two or three. I can't bread. remember what it was. I think it was only two. The vegan the bread, the bread and the vegan ham. That's I, fair. That's funny. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, I've just had a bad history with stomachs. Things can set me off quite easily. Moldy bread would set a lot of people off. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. When I was younger, I used to pick the moldy bits off the bread and eat it. You used to do that. Yeah. Yeah. You're not eating the mold, then, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no. 
And Could I have made the fatal mistake of eating the mold and tossing the bread, though. The strongest immune system you've ever seen. Yeah. You built up now. That's why. Hang on, that's I'm why right now. You <laughs> Not great. I blame I blame long COVID for that one, though. Yeah. How dare you? All Wait, right, I've I've done some disgusting things I've eaten. Yeah. It's the worst thing you've I've eaten. seen you eaten. Someone chewed up a kebab. Yeah, that's the, the one. <laughs> and what what I picked up the chewed up food what and ate the it off the floor. What the fuck is wrong with you? It was you? a bet. It was a bet. He was like, I'm going to chew up this kebab, spit it on the floor, bet you won't eat it, and I ate it. How much was the bet? I mean, don't know. I can't, I can't even remember. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't remember. Well. Because... I fucking showed him. <laughs> <laughs> we would have been... Was it Josh? We would have been about uh, 60. It was it, a Josh, it was but a not Josh our Josh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, it, it, built, it did build your immune system. Now you're all good. <laughs> added flavor, boys. Uh. Um, right, Stan, pick pick your teammate. What do you mean? Just pick a teammate. What do you mean by it that? It can't be me. Not you. Uh, go on, well. Hey. Okay, so, right, Lucas, you have Kaif. Um, I don't know, hey. people seem to like doing the top three thing last time, so oh, I thought I'd try fun, it again. Yeah. Um, hopefully, the questions are slightly harder, but I've tried to not make them too hard. Right, Will and Stan, you can go first, right? So the first one is, what are the top three fast food restaurants by number of outlets in the world? Oh, by oh, number world. of outlets. By number of outlets, yes. The world. Uh, well, I know that America's never invaded anywhere with a McDonald's in it, so McDonald's is probably going to be number one. I was going to say McDonald's. McDonald's is number one. Yeah. So. Okay, cool. Fucking hell. Do also, chat, points? you can you can answer as well. We That's didn't get fine. The what what do we think, think, Lucas? <laughs> oh, yeah, it was, it was given. Do you want to do, do, do a next one? And then we can do like a discussy one then. <laughs> Oh, I mean, because they're, they're going to try for one, and then we'll goes back. It will keep going back yeah. and forth. Oh, okay. You, you see how it works. Is yeah. is White Castle big? I know it's big in the I, U.S. I don't think it's anywhere but the U.S. Okay, and then I'm not seen an... KFC's got to be huge, right? I think yeah, I know KFC has a lot, but mm, Subway. There's a lot of those. All there over is the a, shop. Actually, there is a lot of Subways. Oh. I know some places that have or, fucking two yeah, of them. They get one. They get it right. We still got to go. Starbucks count as fast food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It does, does it? Yes. Yeah. So, we, like, Again, even, oh, oh, that makes sense. Fuck Starbucks. The question was what are the biggest fast food restaurants by number of outlets in the world? What do you want? Starbucks, Costa, KFC? I'm going to stick with Subway. Subway, yeah? Uh, yeah. We go Subway. Okay, Subway's number two. Oh, oh, really? Oh. Subway's number two. I didn't think it would be that high. I was going to take Subway. Then Mate, there's so Subway. many Subways. Yeah, there's unreal. a lot of them. Mm. Okay, so you're look, you and Will are looking for what is number three. What do, I, I, I would like to say it's like one of those coffee outlets. I can kind But of, then... I don't know. My, my heart initially was going like KFC is Subway and then I thought of Burger King but then no one mentioned a Burger King and at that point I'm like maybe not. I think that it depends on where you are because I think mm. KFC is popular but as not as popular as we are we, we're like thinking mm. um, I I reckon that it's good. I thought about pizza places but I don't think they're as popular as well like a don't I reckon like Domino's, Domino's, Domino's pizza be. I don't think that I think like, it's popular in America big. and yeah. like uh, like Europe, but I think there might be a. I don't know. I think I have a bias. They keep targeting me with ads. Oh, okay. Who? <laughs> Domino's. I don't. I don't think it's Domino's. <laughs> Which is wild because I've not had Domino's in like. That's why they're months. targeting you, Stan. They're trying to break do you. They're trying to bring me back. Um, do you, Do you want to do like a like a coffee chain, or do you want to do like a a, a certain? You You kernel? seem like you like the coffee chain idea. I like I like caffeine, mate. I'm an addict. What do you want for me? <laughs> Let's go. On one do you want to do, do, do you want to go for the green one, or do you want to go for the maroon looking one? Like I, 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 I've seen Starbucks more. I think, I think Starbucks. I think Starbucks. I, I'd like to lock in our answer, please. As Starbucks, that's number three. Oh, Fuck yes, it's number three. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. So hopefully, hey, I planted the idea. You did. You did. <laughs> you, did. Yeah. you asked the question, and I was like, oh, I gotta Cause, say yes because it's one of the that, answers. He said, "Yeah, those kind of count." I was like, "Yeah." Hmm. Um, right. So hopefully, this one's a bit more difficult right so kaifa and lucas you can go first right so this is basically what are the oldest three fast food chains in the u.s the reason i put the u.s is because there'll be lots of others you don't mm. know okay isn't so kfc old... like insanely old what do you think lucas is, I, I know kfc is well was it colonel sanders the original guy he was what yeah 
and started at what? I mean, 14? even looks even looks old in the logo. And, and McDonald's was super old as well. <laughs> like a guy set it up, then he franchised it, and then that franchise run him out of town, which is funny. Um, isn't there a film about that? I don't know. Like, oh, actually, going back to what you said earlier, White—I know White Castle's like I got really drunk one day and after watching Harold and Kumar. I got into a loop of looking up weird restaurants. I think White Castle's fucking ancient as well. I mean, it's a castle. That's the only place I know it from. It's the movie. Yeah. And they uh, they actually sell the frozen ones, don't they? In the in the supermarkets, are they sliders? Uh, do do you think maybe KFC? Yeah, let's go for. Uh, yeah, let's go for KFC. We go for KFC. Okay, KFC is the oldest. Oh really? Oh, it's number one. Yep. What do you have the date when it was? I don't. Sorry, I should have written that down. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Right, Stan and Will, you going for two and three? See, I don't know because I, 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 my, my heart says Mackey's. That's all. I, I reckon it's mm. one of the, but like everything which I've seen in the media about it, it's built up around the 1950s. So it's not, um, it's a very post-war sort of thing. Whereas Colonel Sanders was. Uh, back in the day but back in the day where my grandpappy fought for... yeah um, I don't know I'm trying to think I'm trying to think I can't really think oh. of long lasting so I, that's more I can but unfortunately I'm from Europe where the history has come from so my brain is all like full of that shit um, I just stop glancing at chat I didn't see anything specific I'm not, I'm not looking at that I mean no. yeah tr obviously try not to take it but it doesn't matter too much because yeah. you obviously don't know if they're right or wrong but I guess they are giving you some hints. I I want to say it's a burger place, but I I'm gonna go for it. What do you reckon? The Pippi Long Longstocking looking motherfucker from Wendy's. Wendy's. Yeah, I reckon I reckon that might be older than the Maccas. I feel like. Yeah, no, go for it, go for it, go for it. We're gonna take a risk with Wendy's. No, no, it's not in top three. Shit. Why'd you do that, Will? <laughs> Kaifa Lucas. Did my best. Do you wanna man. do you wanna go with White Castle since, you know, it'd be cool if your little drunken research <laughs> Back ended in up the being day. correct. <laughs> yes. Uh, drunken. Okay, we'll go uh, we'll go White Castle. <laughs> yeah, White Yeah, let's go White, White Castle. White Castle's number two. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> let's go. Uh, this is literally the first day I've heard of a place called White Castle. Really? really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, uh, maybe it's because so when uh, we do an SR tour. Can we, can we start a new channel where we sh we get Stan's reaction to all the films he hasn't seen? <laughs> yeah, I think... You see all these people doing movie reacts. We get Stan in the office, show him a film. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's like watching Godfather for the first time. Do we get Shawshank like, Redemption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're trying to get number three. All right, what are you reckoning? Let's just go with Mackey's. Let's go with Mackey's then. Go Mackey's? No. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> see, I thought so. Are they going to go to this sweep? Oh, just for fun. Do you want to try and guess the third one? Yeah. I, what, what do you think, Lucas? It, it is, I think for us, it is the most difficult one. Okay. Right. I let let us think it. of a US chain. Right. That... Hang on. I'd say, to give what? you a hint, I'd say, at least for us in the UK, oh. they're more famous for their a drink than being a fast food restaurant. Oh. Fuck. Drink. At least I don't know. Maybe, that's my view. So I want to contribute, but I, you like, more but I don't know. Are we all allowed to get have a guess? Yeah, or just, is it just, you can all have a go if you do want. Do you reckon it's going to be like some? So, oh no! Wait, no. There, there is a place which does like um, ice cream sundaes, like like the, those floats and stuff. And I and Glenn's nodding his head, like, yeah, I you're on the right track. Well, <laughs> um, I can't remember the name of it though. Um, <laughs> shit. Yeah, names escape me. I, I I was legitimately watching videos about this like the other month as well. Um, no, it's gone. it's gone. Wait, I think we do have one of these in the UK. See, the thing is that chat is saying a name, but I have no idea what that is. <laughs> just give it a guess. Oh no, I, I'm not. Oh, you want me to just say what they're saying? If you want. Well, they're saying two things, but the A and W was the one I got no idea what it is. Okay, well that is the one. What is, is it? That? What's the stand for? What is AW? Um, I don't know, but the reason I know it is because of their root beer. Ah, you do get right, their yeah. root beer a lot in so the UK. I think yeah, it, with the ice cream. I think their slogan but, yeah. is like all American food or something like that. But their root beer is what I know them from. Oh, okay, to yeah. the point with I, I didn't know they had restaurants. What does A&W mean, chat? What's the, what's that? 
Is the root beer float with like Alan root beer in it with like yeah, ice cream? Never heard of them. Wouldn't have got on the that. Top. Yeah, never heard of them. We weren't getting that. <laughs> okay, so next one then, which you should hopefully at least be able to get one or two. What are the best-selling songs of all time? Oh fuck off, Stan and Will. Oh mate, I got no. <laughs> Um, if you both if you both get like it wrong, maybe I can give dates to try and help. Out, her. Is it? But uh, is there part. any songs there by Cannibal Corpse? Because like no. I don't. Know. <laughs> I I uh, who's first? Is it you or us? You. You. Do you you, you you're say, like me. You don't really listen to a lot of pop music these really days, know. do you? When you say like best selling, right? Is this like ever ever? Yes. Like it's like ongoing sales. Right? I, yeah yeah yeah. Does and it, it's, it, I mean it's it's ones which are like certified sales. I mean. They probably haven't really taken streaming into account. I was going to much. ask if it counts as so, like Spotify also. Uh, probably not. I'll right. They're all before. <laughs> t- they're all before two thousand. All it, before two thousand. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's not like mm. the most listened to songs on Spotify or anything like that, or the most viewed on YouTube. Right. Okay. So two thousand is the limit. Um, oh God, I don't know. And these are specific so, songs. Yes. This is probably the hardest one out of all I, of them. I at, take least, at least for me, it Go is. on. S Club 7, Don't Stop Moving. No. <laughs> they were like only popular in the UK. Yeah, I don't know. In the 2000s. Yeah. I shouldn't have let him have a stab at no. this. No. Lucas, no. Lucas, I got a couple ideas. Okay. Uh, something by Queen. Oh. Take On Me. Mm. I think that was kind of big. Did Mariah Carey's Christmas song come up before 2000? Because <laughs> that is that that would have been that sells every yeah. year. It was Michael Bublé out at that point? From, Why am I helping you? Fuck off! Like I think I might have to give. <laughs> I'm going to say from my time in retail, there's one song that's stuck in my head that was played every year at a certain time. It wasn't Mariah Carey. Oh, I'm trying to remember what it's called now. I know it's fucking big. Last Christmas. <laughs> no. Can you sing it? Glenn, yeah. Go on, is it a Christmas, Christmas song? Right, one of the three is a Christmas song. Oh. oh. <laughs> Can I look up the date a song came out? Uh, I feel like you should I feel that's a bit, yeah. yeah. You'll, you'll oh. see other information. Sorry, mate, but why are you licking my leg, dog? Unfortunately, if Lucas sings it, I don't know if I know the song. So I won't be able to, I won't no. be able to confirm. No, no, well, no, you no. sing it, Lucas, and I'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, okay, you can sing it to no, Gary. Uh, no, I, I, okay, White, okay, okay. White Christmas. Is that your answer? Yeah. That's number That's one. one. I always... oh. Really? Yeah, ni- um, yeah, it's 19, stuck in my brain. 1942 by wow. Bing Bing Crosby? Crosby? Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's the supposedly most best-selling of all time. Knew it would be a fucking Christmas song. I was I know that, but not what when S Club Seven like released the song. <laughs> right, I'll give I'll I'll give you guys a clue then. One of them is in the nineties. I'm reading help at all. Uh, yeah. Number one, the song that was on the quiz on with your family. Do you, do you have a cascada? Maybe. I have no idea. Every time I touch, it gets <laughs> late me. late nineties. Oh, I reckon that by a British artist. It's not cascada. Wait, was it <laughs> a British artist, is it? Yeah, one of them is. So one of them is a British artist and the song came out in the 90s. Oh, um... I'm going to be real. I'm real out of my depth. When did the Killers release that song? They're no, not British. No, I know they're not British. Are they? Nah. No. Oh, shit. See, everyone thinks they're British, but they're not. They're not. They're, they're, they're from not. America. Wow. Really? Everyone thinks it's like the greatest British hit of all time. <laughs> come on, Stan, help me out with your bed. <laughs> I don't know music. Well. Stan doesn't know music, mate. Oh, you're yeah, you, you honestly fact, got no you're chance playing solo to stand on this one. one. Well. I've tucked you up, but you—I mean, you've guessed S Club Seven, so I don't know. About, <laughs> I don't know if I'm really in the. Can, we, can I ever repeat? Uh, so it's it's the top selling songs of all time. I mean, I'm I'm going to go right. I with, get, no, well, I, well, I, okay, okay, I'm okay, he's decided. Let him have uh, it. I'm I'm actually gonna go with uh, Queen. Yeah, and not. The one that you think. I'm actually going to go with Don't Stop Me Now rather than Bohemian okay. Rhapsody, which that's, is probably fucking wrong. That's wrong. Yeah, okay then. There we are. I'm out with that. I don't get it. I'll go. Do you want more clues? Yeah. I feel like I'm dragging Good, my sorry. ass across the Do you want another floor. clue? Go on then. One of them's by Elton John. Ha. <laughs> so that was the one I was alluding to in the night. I know it. What is it? I know it as well. I I can- Candle in the Wind. It's number two. 
That's huh? number two. Nice. I only remember that because Princess Diana's funeral was on my birthday during my birthday party. How inconsiderate ah. of her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I don't think you'll get a third one, so do you want me to just tell you? Uh, you oh, give, give us a big hint. Give us a clue. Go on. Give us a clue. Big hint. It's by Tino Rossi, and it was released in <gasps> 1946. Who the fuck is Tino Rossi? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Go on. Wait, did you want to guess? No, I don't give a shit. I don't know who the person is. <laughs> Papa Noel. Papa Noel. Two of them are Christmas fucking songs. <laughs> yeah. It's the, I didn't know that was the Christmas you song. You said oh, you didn't know that. Oh, Wait, oh. you didn't know Papa Noel is... Well, hang on. I told you the date and the artist. Come on. It's, it's literally Father Christmas in French, so... Well, it's really it's like you're saying that. All I think is when Joe was singing, instead of Felice Navidad, he was singing, Philip's not your dad. <laughs> Jesus. That's all I get it's from that. Awful. <laughs> all right, th this next one, one should be easier, right? Go on, what go are on. the top selling music artists? Oh, of all for time? God's sake. Of all time. Is this yeah. before you 2000? Were, right, you 100% would have all heard of all three of these. Okay. Okay. Are we going first? You are going I, first. I, I, Lucas. If, if I'd have Queen? not heard them, I would be upset. Yeah. Let's go for it. Queen. No. Whoa! Uh, is it Tay Tay? Taylor Swift? No. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I thought you were going to be right there. Hang on. Well, I, I thought I was going to be right there as well. Um, I was so it... sure. If it's going all time, Beatles. All... That's number one. Ooh, really? okay. I was going to yeah. guess that. You didn't <laughs> consult me. <laughs> you said you were shit for music. I thought I'd take the initiative. That's what I was going to say. You didn't consult me. I'm sorry, oh, man. Um, sorry. Right, it's, it's their go. Um, Love you. Lucas and uh, Stan and Will, right? It's your go. Oh, shit. Which one? Which one? What? Do you want to consult? No. Oh, I was, uh, the only thing Lucas. I've got in my head is Abba. I think I know. That's all I've got. I, re I reckon it's going to be Abba, and I also reckon it's going to be a certain moonwalking individual. Who do you, oh. you want to... I, I, I'm more likely to say MJ, but if you want to go with ABBA, I'm happy to go. I don't know, mate. Look, look, all I can say is that- You're the boss. I'm not the boss. You're the boss. I don't want this. Yeah, uh, it's on you now, mate. I hate this. You got the first one right, but he didn't let you answer. <laughs> yeah, see? He's telling me to go with my heart. He is. He is telling you to go with my heart. I don't trust him. He's a rat. <laughs> <laughs> He's the referee. <laughs> Hello, go, hello. Go your heart, I was gonna call Stan. you a cat. Go your heart. You're not a cat. You're a dog. I I said to him that he was a lad, and he came at me and said I called him lard. <laughs> <laughs> so I do not trust that man. Which one do you want to go for? I'm gonna go with Abba. I'll go with Abba. It's wrong, man. I hate you. <laughs> right, Lucas. Michael Jackson. Go for it, you motherfucker. Michael Jackson's number three. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> not you. Not you. You're right. Gorgeous. So you're missing number you're two. Bold. I promise you, you would have heard of him. <laughs> Hate this there's, there's no way you haven't heard of this what person. Was number one, I didn't hear it. Number one was the Beatles. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it like? Oh wait, it's your turn. I had my shot, mate. Come on, you got to come I up with another one. Hundred percent pre two thousands. Oh, the gorillas is out of it then. <laughs> um, we said Queen. Um, we said, uh, but we said the. Uh, like they're definitely like previous icon levels of. What about the king? Fame. El what about Elvis? Is that your answer? Yeah. Why not? Number two. Oh, I'm glad I kept my mouth shut. I <laughs> what do you think is that? I was, was going to say I think he's wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Celine Dion or something like that. Fair. Fair. We got a point. We'll take. We got it. a point. We'll yeah. take it. It's our first point in like seven. Yeah. So okay. We've really refined. Back these. to yeah. this is the last section about companies, right? So. The, I think the first one is quite easy. Top three countries, countries, companies by market share. So I think easy. it's Kaif and Lucas to go first, right? Do you want Whatever. this one, Kaif? Or? I got a few. Like, like I'm not gonna say them. You just just pick the one you think of, Lucas, and just say it. Apple. That's number one. Yeah. Okay. Of course it would be. Well, it is. It's fucking. It's stupidly big. Yeah, I didn't want to say any of the others because <laughs> you know they're just user. <laughs> Uh, so you're going, for, you're going for two do, and three. Do you reckon that we should go for the guys who um, partly own League of Legends, the Chinese I was company? Thinking about Tencent. Tencent. Is Tencent? No. 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 Really? No. Fuck off. They got what? their fingers in what? all. I the thought that'd be number two. I thought. Yeah. We were, I thought they were massive. Uh, I feel uh, like your list's wrong, mate. Lucas. Uh, uh, <laughs> mm. Google, or Amazon. They're huge, right? They are both huge. I'm not sure who's. Go, go with your gut, Kaif. Uh... Oh. 
What are you leaning towards? I want to say Google. They are a bit. They're a bit older than Amazon, and uh, they got their fingers in a lot of pies. Okay, Google. <laughs> no. Fuck. Ah. Stan, Will, what do you reckon, mate? These are just any company. Any company. Microsoft? I was thinking Microsoft, but I also I think, think they might not be that big. No, they're huge, mate. They are huge. Considering that almost everybody... Then again, I'm just second guessing myself, because I thought Tencent was huge, but apparently that's so. wrong, too. I reckon, I reckon I think Microsoft we, I think is we can risk it. I think we can risk and go for it. I think we can go for it. Microsoft? Microsoft. Number two. Let's Number go. Two. Fuck. Yeah. Right, do you want me to give you a clue for the third one? It's a media company, isn't it? No. Fuck. Oh. Okay, what is it? It's a oil and gas company. Oh. Oh. We wouldn't have guessed that. But uh there's B and P. There's Shell. Those are the two I know. I can't imagine being BP after a, you know The oil spill. They they spilled their money. Story. You know, where they literally pissed their money the away. Front fell off. <laughs> <laughs> You know what the problem with it was? Fucking Turn another clue. Go on, then. They floated on the stock exchange not that long ago. So oh. within like the last five years. And it was a big, exciting thing. Do any of us watch the stock exchange? <laughs> Do we? Glenn, apparently. Yeah. So it's not BP or Shell, then? No. No, because if it's recent. Lucas, do you know... Uh, can you think... Oh, no. you can, can you think of here, any oil names? Not recent, like say so the only ones I know are the one you said at Texaco, but that's been a fucking long time. Yeah, it's been around for a long, long time. time. I can't think of, like I say, I don't watch the oil market. <laughs> Should we just let the other two have a guess? Yeah. Oil's a rest? I don't know. Oil's um, a rest. I really don't do, know. Do you know any um, oil companies off the top of your head, Sam? I can be honest. It's just the two that I can be Okay. Do you want um, to just tell you? Go on then. Yeah. yeah. Saudi Ramco. Okay, yeah, we no, never heard of them. Yeah. I would not have got them in a million years. It's just mate. basically the state-owned company of yeah. uh, Saudi. Did you know of them before yeah. the list? Yes. Fair enough. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Glenn's smart. I mean, I studied chemical engineering, so... No, that's fair enough. Um, like, it's like He's ready to make his oil fucking I, money. I, <laughs> I, I forget that that's what you studied, though. I forget that you're that's actually... That's his job, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, but like... <laughs> Um, all right, this so when one. Are we, when are we going to see Sheik Glenn then? <laughs> Never. <laughs> uh, the th shoulder, this one, I, you've heard of all these companies. So, this is the biggest uh, companies by employee count in the US. Uh, Stan and Will, you go first. You definitely would have heard of all these companies. No questions asked. Um, my knee jerk is Google. My knee jerk is also Google. Then we'll go with Google. Google. Okay, um, how did you come to that conclusion? Because it's the it's big. biggest. It's the big. It's one of the biggest search engines Think of, of the world. Businesses that need people. Oh. <laughs> so that's wrong. It's by employee count. Can I? Can oh. I? Can I? No, I retract. <laughs> can we go? Nah, fuck them. Well, can you I see, retract? You see what, you see what it is? It's a knee jerk. Yeah. Fuck yeah, fair. Right, yeah. Lucas Kaif. Right. It's it's gonna it's be America. Remember. Yeah, it's gonna be like uh, America. It, it, it's either like, you know, like a coffee place because there's lots of them or it's like grocery stores because I used to work in Tesco and the sheer... Yeah, Kaif. I yeah. don't know Just... if I can see mine. What, what a m m monster corporation bought, uh, was it Asda? I'm going to DM you. <laughs> from, the, from the US. <laughs> it's Walmart? <laughs> How many Walmarts are there? How many Asdas are there? All right, it's Walmart. Yes, yeah, so that's number one. <laughs> I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm good, just going to consult with my partner right, via sure, DMs sure. because I don't you know do, whether you that... do type to you. Uh, no, it's not that. It's just I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on YouTube. Basically. Yeah. Uh, uh, what? I'm uh, so confused what you could have to let say. Let me confer with you in a you can't say. I don't know what it is yet. I don't know I'm betting you're saying it. Oh, is it Pornhub? Are you sure you've sent something to me? <laughs> oh, there to we go. To Stan Cat123, yeah. No, you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But also because Will, you've not named Will, a brand. You've just Will, said something that's not good. Will, can, can you just send that to me? I'm, I don't want to use yeah, that. Right, 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 Will, can you send me what you were going to say? I mean, you could probably say it. Put it in SR. I mean, you could probably say it. I think you could say it, but you've also not said chat, a brand. We, for whatever reason, I haven't seen it. We can't say it. Um, I mean, you probably could say it, but like, you, it's also not an answer. Oh my God. Come on, send it this way. I'm going to say Nike. 
Stop not consulting me. <laughs> I gotta say no. Like, but in, no. On on the purpose of they need some people to make their shoes. That's and they might outsource the it to different Why countries. Why don't you talk to them? The <laughs> Will, they don't count as employees. They hide those. So that what you're saying is it's an infinite number of. <laughs> oh my god! Did you mean? <laughs> also, why don't you talk to me? I have I sent answer. you a DM. <laughs> That's not an open inv Oh my god! Just take your answer. Right, okay, we got the last two answers before we move on. So, so you've said Walmart. That was number one. I'm sorry, what do you think, Lugas? I swear, if it's what I'm thinking. What what we think, Lugas? Do you want any clues? We're gonna oh, get one yet. point. We're gonna get one point, mate. It's all gonna be like, you. We got I'm, this. I want to say, is this our turn? Because I want to say it's it your turn. Yeah. Amazon. Is that your answer? Go on in. Yeah. That's number two. For God's oh, sake, let's... well. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Did you get the little parcels? <laughs> you said Google as well. <laughs> yeah, and then I got to rethink. <laughs> we didn't get to like, have another go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Remy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Remy's like, I'm sorry too, Remy. Staring at Stan now. <laughs> I had two answers, Will. What was okay, your I one? thought I thought Amazon, right? Because they have their big warehouses yeah, yeah. and they got to deliver parcels. Yeah, fair enough. You know who else has to deliver parcels and is, is a, a, a big company yeah. in America? I was gonna say FedEx. Oh. But that I was leaning more towards Amazon. Well, you've still got to get yeah. the third one. But I will go with FedEx. We can go with FedEx. That is the third one. Oh wow. <laughs> Got a point. Don't got point it. at me. <laughs> Big man. I went, chat, I'm sorry you can't see Stan's face. Hey, he's that living. That was a proper. He's well, actually living. Well, that was a well, proper well, good well, right there. I've yeah, just been, been told on good information that someone sent you the answer Who? and you still said Nike. I didn't fucking look at <laughs> things. Who sent me the, the armor? Answer, yeah. Who's, who's <laughs> sent me fucking answers? Fuck off. Like, I ain't oh. cheating. <laughs> right. Um, so I'm that. pretty sure me and Lucas won that by a landslide. So sorry. Yes. Mate. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Lucas. Yes, hundred percent. Right. I go. What's I wanted on? to make a funny. <laughs> Fucking oh, nice. All look way longer than I thought they were. <laughs> I'm very say Nestle at that point. <laughs> <laughs> nah, mate. They, they. No, I can't say that. Okay, so hopefully <laughs> you in, enjoyed that. We're gonna move on. We got a couple of. Uh, Am I the assholes to finish? We yes. might only do one or two because of yeah. time. So we'll start off with the quickest one, right? So the thing was really long. I just took the TLDR, right? So my abusive ex named me as the beneficiary in his will. He died by suicide. My husband does not want me to take the money. However, it would really help us and get us in a better place financially. So it, from the comments, it was about 60K. Wait, so... USD. So and and they're really, asking, am I the asshole? Yes. For wanting to take it, yes. Okay, that's the that's the point. So I would say no. This is if they were a fucking arsehole and treated you like shit. The least you can do is well, you you popped your clogs, just have your cash. Off you yeah, fuck. I, I, I don't understand what the issue is. I guess the current partner is just being like, <clears throat> you shouldn't take money from your ex or whatever. I think it's, it's like, essentially down to that. Maybe a pride thing. I don't I, know. Yeah, I think it's a case of that. Um, it, it's like if, if that person wanted nothing to do with that abusive ex, then, you know, but it also, I feel like we're lacking context about what the husband has, yeah, but uh, has if, said and what his concerns yeah. are. If it's her abusive ex, then it's down to her whether or not yeah. she, you know, like she accepts... Uh, like the trauma that she went through or not like yeah. what the fuck i get what's that. he been a little baby about i get that but i think that if if if, if Kez... oh if i could uh, i don't want another man provided for my wife uh, like that. what but I, I i i think i would be concerned about like why is the money coming this way is this like a last final sort of fuck you towards the partner or whatever <laughs> or <laughs> fuck you i gave you money <laughs> no but it's like on the mind and stuff and re-bringing it up like previous traumas and shit like that that's what my was he scared she might take him back he's, I mean, dead, he's dead well <laughs> i see a point <laughs> i don't like it don't you get it <laughs> you've done enough today well what you mean you've done enough like i i just don't see anything i just don't get the issue i think it's weird yeah that's fair I personally yeah, no, don't no, think it's an issue, asshole. but I do understand why yeah. someone would. 
Yeah, not the asshole, be but it's, it's a, still yeah, weird. Yeah, be annoyed with it, if that makes sense. I don't. I said, like... <laughs> I, I literally, I cannot see why you would be annoyed by that. Like, at all. It's like, if you like, if in the husband's point of view, like, the current husband, the live one, it's like, oh, so your dickhead ex is giving you 60k. Why does that make me feel insecure? It's free money. Let's spend it just to spite him. So obviously he's supported her getting through whatever he did. Yeah, it's not did. even like they're still around and then yeah. they're worried of, oh, they're trying to get back in the life or something, you know? No, he, he, he's dead. Just, yeah, money. We're, we're, we'll pay to spend the money to dig his corpse up and burn it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's much more else to say. No. No. Is it more to this, like... Thing. I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm out of fluff a bit with this one. That's I, co- a- I copied the TLDR. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> there definitely was more information. Okay, so they got two kids. She said last year I was diagnosed with cancer. Although the treatment was brutal, I pulled through, or so it seems for now. Truth is, things have not been smooth for the past five years or so. I've been trying to fit in uh, what my husband sees as his ideal life, living in remote locations and adjusting my life to make it work for us as a family. His dream is to live by the ocean, far from people. I'm a city girl. For the sake of making it work for the both of us, I've taken jobs that are well below my abilities. For him, though, it does not look like it's what I wanted. Uh, it was because at that point it was the only f- uh, available thing given the compromise. My husband was living his dream life, not even realizing that my resentment was building up. I did bring this up many times, but he was dismissive. Things blew up two times. He saw me flirt with uh, another guy. I never even kissed anyone, but it was emotional betrayal, probably. I gave up alcohol for years ago to make sure I was always in control and don't do stupid shit that can ruin my relationship. Uh, my husband's a great father, never had uh, never had a father like that. He loves our children and they have a great relationship. So do I, uh, my kids. He's a great partner. He asks me every day about my day, but he never really listens to what I say. He keeps talking about his work, but doesn't notice me. He makes a lot more than me, but insists that we pay everything 50-50 to keep it fair. Oh, now I'm seeing it. <laughs> during the past years, I've been covering more expenses than him. And I was working full time during my treatment. He never offered to pay for any extras. In his book, there were uh, years... My pregnancy is when I was paying less, so now it's fair that I pay more. Oh yeah, I'm seeing more. He has a he keeps tracking a book? Mm. What? I don't oh, feel emotionally Lord. connected to him at all, and I don't want to have sex with him. I have a history of abuse and I need an emotional connection to enjoy sex. But the, f- the past five years he's been only touching me if and when he needs sex. I've given in so many times and cried after because I felt like I portrayed myself, but I had to do it because he needs it and I'm his spouse. So now I've been still contemplating divorce for over eight months. I'm out of treatment and I don't know if I'm going to stay healthy for a long time. Um, wait, Glenn, no, no, this no. is a different I'm the arsehole. I know. I was waiting for you to finish. You should have said that to begin with because I, I, oh, I was committed. Yeah. You committed to reading it. I this is like, completely is different story. I... Okay, so she says... <laughs> this is a completely says, different story. Am yeah. I the arsehole for wanting a divorce? Yeah, yeah no, this is completely no. different. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> no, sorry, Kai. No. Yeah. Kai was full deep in and I was like, ah, oh, crack on. <laughs> I was like, is this the same story? No, 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 it's completely different. Was, it's just... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was like, ah, oh, Kai's moved on, yeah. all right, fair. Also, not the asshole. Not the asshole. No. She's in an emotionally and financially abusive relationship. That Mm -hmm. guy can get fucked. He makes seven to ten times more than her. He's like, no, no, it's 50-50. Got to be fair. Like, she took a lower paying job, but he's like, no, no, keep it fair. Oi, oi. I understand maybe when you start dating someone or something. But, like, when you're married to someone, even if you're not married, when you've decided, like, all right, we're going to try and make this work. We're going to try and stay together forever. Whether that means marriage or kids or whatever. I really don't understand the, like having like split finances i know lots of people do it and there's lots of different opinions but i personally don't understand because most of the big things that you'll buy in life and stuff will be joint you know raise the kids that's joint buying a Mm. house that's joint like so i i don't know i don't understand that especially if you got someone who earns so much so much more it feels like it's even more where's the rest of of it going bad thing you know it just doesn't make any sense yeah, I don't know why you would make it so that your wife, who is going through treatment for cancer, would have to pay 50-50 for the bills when you earn 10 times more than her. Especially yeah, if, down to keeping a book. Yeah. Like, yeah that's if outrageous. If you like, earn 10 times more than your partner and they're going through cancer treatment, my response would be, no, quit your job. You look after, we look after you. We'll sort out afterwards. Especially yeah. if you're 10 times more than them. Not you know, coming that- to them with a book and being like, you still owe me from last year. <sighs> Yeah, that guy needs to be outrageous. That guy needs to be alone forever. Yeah, I bought toilet paper last week. That is ten pounds you owe me. 
Don't ask how much I bought. That's what it is. The book says. The book is right. Rolls. So I'm assuming that you net, you know, you copy and pasted the TLDR. I just, yeah, that's yeah, what I said. You, you I didn't... just pasted the TLDR because the thing was really long. And I was like, okay. I don't know if we'll have enough stuff to make the time. Damn. So it was more of a last dash. I really want to know we really more need context. It, this one's here. Yeah, me too. Do you have the link to it? Um, I can probably a, find it. Get have a look at this later. Not, not straight away. <laughs> um, oh, okay, right. We'll do, this will be the last one. Okay. Um, All right. Will, do you want to read it or Lucas, do you want to read it? I read the the wanking of the mum thing. So. <laughs> okay, okay. Fair, fair, right. We'll do this one as the okay. last one. Will's going to read this one. So a group of friends had a get together for drinks and games. We all knew each other except for this one girl who came with one of the guys. I'm very good friends with the host of the party and it was her parents' place. After a few hours and many drinks, we were all having a good time. My friend then noticed the new couple were missing for some time and we knew they didn't leave. So me and her went to uh, looking round since we had a good idea what was going on. As we get to her, uh, her room, we can hear them having sex in there. My friend banged on the door and told them to get. She's not one for confrontation. After a few minutes of them not coming out, I opened the door and they were still in bed doing it. I yelled get out but then saw her pants on the floor. I grabbed them and took them to the front door and threw them out into the yard. Everyone was uh, was like what's going on and laughing. We waited for them. Eventually they sheepishly came out looking all embarrassed. She has his hoodie tied around her waist. People were laughing again and the guy asked where her pants and underwear were. So I told him outside and he called me an asshole for doing that. And I said well don't fuck on someone's bed and they left. It was a bit divided on how I reacted. I felt I was standing up for my friend for being disrespected like that, especially since this girl was essentially a stranger to the group. But later on, I heard that the girl was super embarrassed and humiliated and cried and doesn't want anything to do with our group of friends. The guy is also super pissed at me. So am I the asshole? Um, I, I, I don't think so. No, not at all. That's not his house. That's not... Well, they, dead. they're both assholes in my yeah head. like i've I gone think, yeah, i've gone either. to a lot yeah. like, maybe this is like the way that we were brought up but i've gone to a lot of parties and people had sex in rooms like all the fucking yeah. time yeah so like i'm like i don't care yeah like it's still bad right but even if you even if you're like right that's terrible you shouldn't do that in someone's bed right yeah by throwing out and it says their trousers and their underwear outside you were forcing that girl right, to come out naked. To realistically, to come out naked and potentially walk naked through like living yeah. with other people. That's messed up. I, That's like not okay. I, I I feel though that it was a more warranted sort of thing of removing that. So it's mildly inconvenient at the start of it. It's a major inconvenience at the end of it. Yeah. But th- to, to eventually get them socks, they're not listed to any reasonable instruction, which is being true. Given to but, them. but that's what I'm saying. They, they're just all bad yeah. people. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I feel like if she has a cock in her and he keeps going, I, I don't know what the focus is on her. You know what I mean? He's probably going away it's, and not I mean, caring. They, yeah but they're both bad right they're yeah but like she like, focuses yeah. on the girl yeah it sounds like because that's the one who doesn't know them right yeah that's the, the way that it's read this stranger it's... came in and had sex on her own <laughs> like hang on, there were two oh, of them in there yeah so uh, I'm there. Friend yeah, i've the actually got a story of something similar yeah happening. so they they're saying the go guy on, was one of the friends right the door, so yeah doing so it, they yeah. kind of give him the guy a pass so they, yeah they completely gave him a pass like, and was they, like fuck they, that girl yeah they, they didn't do it themselves did they i think i think i think nobody wins here but i think that uh what could have been done is that the uh, the guy could have been uh as the target as opposed to that because whilst it does take two to tango if if someone is like typically a lot smaller or, you know, the, the guy is going to keep going, you know, I, 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 what, I'm saying, what I'm trying to say isn't like coming out, but like, you know what I mean? You know, it, it's, she has an appendage in her. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There was a far better okay. way to deal with um, yeah. it. Right. Lucas is going to tell us a story and then story we tell stop. You. Similar vein to this at a house party many, many moons ago, my friend who was hosting the party after a little while, I've disappeared with his girlfriend upstairs, admittedly to his room. We all, we're all we all a bit drunk. Pretty oh, poor show to ignore everyone at the party. We knew what they were doing. 
So my drunken ass thought it'd be a good idea to strip down to my boxers, kick in the door, and walk in thrusting, yelling, room for a small one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He laughed. She got mad. He came downstairs. Not upstairs? Rude. We... <laughs> <At> least... <laughs> Funny little man. Oh, joy. All right. With oh, that, then, wait, I what, think we'll... Oh, what was the reaction on the Reddit? It's, it was pretty split. Oh, okay. It, it genuinely was yeah. quite split. There was people who were like, it's not okay to do that in someone's house. But then there was other people about the Ooh. underwear poop being story. like... Yeah, can't. poop story. He, no, he, he, didn't, he didn't have anything to yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I he didn't have anything. I'm sorry, chat. Earlier. There's nothing uh, Stan wanted to share. And yeah. no we're not that terrible of people, so we're not going to force him. <laughs> no. So <laughs> not gonna pause it. Yeah, it's thanks time. for thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Uh, there'll all. be another one similar time next Sunday. So hopefully you can check that out. Um, I am gonna unlist the live stream, but then the podcast will be re-uploaded tomorrow as a video. So if you want to watch some of it, then you can do it from it's there. Because I said a naughty word, isn't it? Yeah, we got to cut Will's <laughs> out at the start. So cheers, everyone.